my name is Andy Stow. I'm the Vice President of Engineering at Windlift, and we're working on a field of energy called airborne wind energy, and it, we are trying to generate power using a kite and a ground-based generating station, which is a little bit different than what you might have seen with a wind turbine. We're developing a mobile uh, platform to use these kites behind me to generate electricity. These kites are going to be used in remote places like Afghanistan, Africa, and uh, Caribbean islands to generate electricity in places where right now it's very expensive to deliver fuel. So this is a model, this is, this is what's called a spreadsheet model in a program called Excel. You may have used Excel. This program is used to try to determine how much power we can expect to generate from our machine and it, it basically uh, tells us what the performance uh, of our machine is expected to be. As you can see on, on this axis, uh, you have the wind speed and on this axis you have the power output um, at different wind speeds. These curves describe the amount of power you can get out at a wind speed of about 20 miles per hour. And we're targeting the maximum amount of power we can get out, which is, which is about at a third of the wind speed uh, when we let the wing travel downwind. Um, this model is all built on math. As you can see, there's numbers all over the place and there are embedded equations everywhere in here that help us to determine the, the, the basic performance of our machine before we ever start to design and build anything. The model is actually algebraic in nature. Um, it has different, in, different inputs in terms of how the wing works, what the wind speed is, how big the wing is, um, the wind speed, the characteristics of the wing, all those things go into this model and then this curve is output so we can try to determine how to design our machine best. Here we use this kite to, um, to generate electricity. Um, we operate the kite at a higher altitude than you could operate a traditional wind turbine because we don't have a tower. We've just got a bunch of tethers. Um, the tethers are spooled onto a drum. The, um, the wing is generating lift and that is creating tension in the tethers which is pulling the tethers off the drum. The drum is turning and it's then turning a generator. Um, generators generating electricity. What we're doing in this plot is calculating how much instantaneous power is coming out of the generator by just looking at the voltage and the current. And power is just the product of voltage and current at any given point in time. The primary motivation for this technology development is to deliver power to remote areas uh, where there's not any other way to get it. Most of the world does not have the electricity grid like we have in the United States. So they only get power if they have a diesel generator, uh, a photovoltaic system, or a system like this, or a wind turbine. A system like this can have a higher power density than solar and a lower operating cost than diesel. 